We have a special story just for you. We welcome you to come up here in the very front row. Amen. Or a bank of 
tiger or a lion, as that ferocious animal starts to get the movement back in their muscles, but they're going to kill you, they're going to eat you alive. So these people get in that helicopter and they move up about 100 feet in the air and they watch the animal to see how the animal is reacting to their treatment. And when they see that the animal is okay, then they come out. The reason I've shared this story with you is because every time I see that happen, it reminds me of something that happened in this world 2,000 years ago. Jesus came to this world 2,000 years ago to heal a bunch of sick people Amen. that were dying of a disease that the Bible calls sin. There's a verse in the Bible, Galatians 3.22, that says, All things have been summed up under this disease called sin. Now, would you like to know how Jesus treated this disease and how successful he was? The first thing that Jesus did in order to treat this disease was he came down and he zapped Satan. Do you know what that means? He shot him and he paralyzed him. Do you know what's in the Bible? In Hebrews 2, 14, it says that Jesus had to come into this world the same way that you and I do, born through a man. And he grew up. And he learned how to live a life on this earth. And the way he learned how to live a life on this earth was that he learned how to zap, paralyze Satan. And that's what Hebrews 2, 14 says. He has made Satan powerless. The word in Greek is paralyzed. Now, what does that mean? What is the serum? What is the name of the serum that Jesus used to paralyze Satan? The Bible says the name of it is faith. Jesus learned to turn every thought, every word, and everything that he ever did over to God when he was on this earth. And that is how you and I can paralyze Satan. Because the Bible also tells us that Satan is like a roaring what? Lion seeking what? To devour you. <laughs> so how do you and I protect ourselves from Satan? We zap it. The same way that Jesus zapped Satan. How do we do that? Yes, by turning every thought every word and everything that you ever say over to Jesus. And what is that? What is what happens to Satan? <laughs> is, they, is Satan dangerous when he's in this, this position? And he's happy? He can't touch you. He cannot touch you. How how old? Five. Do you know how powerful you are? Now that you've learned how to paralyze Satan. You're the most powerful person in the world. At your age. Do you like that? Do you like to know? Do you like to eat? Do you like to know that now you can paralyze it? He's helpless. He cannot affect you in any way. Because the Bible says so. The last part of Galatians 3.22 says, Through the faith of Jesus, Jesus has come to the sin part. And it's up to you and to me, as we live our lives in this world. Every time we have a thought, Every time we think of saying something in this room, every time we think of doing something, we can do what Jesus did. Turn it over to God. And what does that do to say? It paralyzes him, and he can't touch him. And when Jesus finds a group of people that choose to live as he did, then he will be able to come back. And that will permanently, forever, paralyze him. Is that good news? It's up to you and to me whether we're going to paralyze Satan or not. 
You may return to your sins quietly.